Hey guys, Justin here, Feldman Physical Therapy and Performance. So we're gonna to talk today a little bit about IT band pain or lateral knee pain or pain on the outside of your knee. Um, this is something that we see a lot with runners and there's all sorts of, you know, things out there and people have their own kind of like miracle cures for what's going on. But there's also just a lot of bad information about what's really causing some of that pain on the outside of your knee. Um, the first thing kind of like, you know, try and get in and dispel some of the myths. So the, you know, the first thing is that people say that, all right, well, like my IT band is tight. Um, and I can tell you from, you know, cadaver study and all sorts of other things, right? Your IT band generally isn't tight. It's pretty much not contractile tissue. It's just sort of like thick, dense fascia. It's not like a muscle that can contract and relax. And so what happens when you get this, pain on the outside of your knee is that a lot of times you kind of like poke around on it. And then as you poke on it, your, your tissue just generally feels a little bit tense. And so people think that they need to stretch it. The problem is the real cause of a lot of this IT band pain is that the tissue is kind of becoming like intolerant to compression. Um, and it's actually over stretched and it's irritated. And so if you start getting in and doing some like aggressive stretching, or before people run, they'll tend to like do these sort of things. And what you end up with is you're re-irritating it and you're re-stretching it. And the whole idea of this pain originating from more of a compression irritation, as you stretch and do it, you're actually causing more compression on the, the tissue. Um, and that doesn't, you know, feel good. Um, the other sort of myth is that um, it's kind of like a friction thing. And so people think that the tendon is like rolling over a bone or something like that. Um, and really that's not happening. I mean, you know, that, that tissue is pretty thick. It stays pretty well in place. Um, but again, people think, all right, well, it's rolling over this bone and it's irritated. So I need to make it looser. And so then they like grab a foam roller and sort of like roll the heck out of it. Um, I mean, I've had people come in with bruising and, and all sorts of things on there. Um, and most of the time, what that ends up doing is, again, kind of irritating it more and making it a little bit more annoying. Really, what's going on here is, especially in the case of, of runners or you know, in running or even other things, right? We're kind of a little bit too weak somewhere else, usually somewhere high up. And what's going on is we're moving and kind of going about our day is we're just getting too much into the midline. And so we're we're putting all this tissue at a really inefficient position. And so if I sort of like pop up on the step here, right? And if I'm kind of this way, if I get, and I start to come down off the step and my knee dives in, right? So I go here and we start to see that knee come in that way or on the other side, it's even easier to see. And it starts to go that way. That's gonna really cause a lot of stress out here. So what we need to do is we need to get everything stronger so that we can come down and keep that under our body. When we run, we need to try and have a nice wide stance so that our feet are landing under our hips or in line with our hips, right? We don't want to be landing as if we're going down a balance beam. That's what's creating all that tension in there. Um, the other thing is just like a really excessive amount of either uphill or downhill running is going to put a ton of stress in that area. So if you're feeling this, it doesn't mean you need to cut out the running altogether. Uh, maybe we just need to alter your terrain, alter your stance and mechanics a little bit and allow you to keep going.